This is true Aggie night. And to become a true Aggie, two people must kiss at midnight on a full moon around the A block at the old main hill. The rules of being a true Aggie are that you are supposed to kiss around the A block at midnight on a full moon, or we have special occasions for homecoming in A week. Um, people think that you have to kiss on the A, and then that's the more important thing, but it's actually supposed to be kissing at midnight. According to students, the tradition is fun, but kissing is only one of the many benefits of becoming a true Aggie. I feel like if it hadn't happened, then my experience would be incomplete. Just because it's a USU tradition, and I don't do a whole lot on campus, but I want to be able to say that I've done some things, and there's a lot of really cool people who have that status. Everyone loves being in Utah State, and um, being a true Aggie is just like a check mark on like what, um, what making the most of your Aggie experience is about. Becoming a true Aggie is a campus-wide tradition, but this wasn't always so. About 100 years ago, midnight kisses around the A block was done by only one club here at USU. As to how it became a tradition done by everybody, it's still a mystery. The Beano Club started the tradition in 1916 as a rite of passage. They formed it, formed it out of concrete and it's been on campus ever since 1916. While pictures of the Beano Club do exist, the only pictures or references from the student body practicing the tradition are from the early 70s to now. I think it probably started later. Obviously, it was around in 1972, so at some point uh, it became uh, you know, a fashionable thing, and it, it's like a lot of things that kind of catch on. From the A Block's origin up until the 70s, it is unknown as to when the true Aggie tradition spread to everyone else.